So the first thing we want to do is to um, create a new project and go here Q3D, uh, click on that arrow and click on 2D extractor. Now we're going to design the cross section of our coax cable. So click here on the circle, um, click here on the origin and click anywhere. What we're going to do is to parameterize the, you know, the geometry. So here on the circle one, the first thing we want to do is to create the pin. So I'm just going to rename this to pin just because, you know, it's easier to keep track of that. Uh, on create circle C, you have the origin and the radius. The radius, I'm going to replace that value, whatever value it is, by inner D, which is the inner diameter. Uh, I'm going to put this 3 millimeter, but I, I want the radius to be inner D divided by 2, right? Because uh, the radio is half of diameter. So when we click here, you can change this value, uh, the inner diameter, and it will automatically update the geometry. Um, we're going to do now, this is the pin. Uh, it's already copper. Um, what we can do now is design the dielectric. So let's do this again. Click on the circle on the origin. Click anywhere. And now where you see circle one, which is the big one, let's type dielectric. And I want to change that. Uh, material. So I'm going to right click here on the dielectric, click on assign material, and I'm going to type uh, Teflon, right? Where we have a, you know, relative primitivity of uh, 2.1. Uh, if you want to, you can keep changing the, the colors. We're going to do that later. One thing that I, I want to do is to select everything. So I'm going to cl click here, uh, drag in, you know, my mouse, uh, and I'm going to click subtract. What I want to do is to have my dielectric. I want to subtract the pin, but I want to keep the pin. So I'm going to check this checkbox. OK, so I have my dielectric now and my pin. Uh, you can click here on the pin, change the color to, I don't know, orange uh, dielectric, uh, change it to a different color. I, I don't know, uh, light blue, something like this. And let's create a shield, right? So, uh, you know, uh, you can, again, create a circle. Uh, I'm going to put this as shield, um, and what I'm going to do now, it's, it's already copper. Uh, you can change the color to orange just to keep, uh, you know, consistency. And the radius, I'm going to put, uh, you know, uh, shield uh, D divided by 2. I'm going to put 11. And remember that on the Teflon, we didn't do that, right? Um, we didn't create a variable. So let me put a variable here like outer D divided by 2 and place outer, you know, set outer D as 10 millimeter. So, uh, you know, I have my shield. Oh, yeah, we have to subtract everything. So let's select everything, subtract, and I want my shield and subtract the pin and the dielectrics and clone everything. So I have my pin, my shield, and the Teflon. And everything is parameterized. So if you click here, you can change the outer diameter to 9, um, and it will update the geometry. So once you have, do this, you have done this, um, you, know, you have to assign the, the conductors. So click on the pin, either here or here. Right click and go to Assign uh, Conductor, Signal Line. And let's solve inside because we want to see the skin effect. And here, click on the shield, right click, and assign conductor, and set this as reference ground. Again, solve inside. We're using transmission line theory, so we have to have a return path for the current. The pin current goes in, the shield current goes out, or the other way around. So now what we need to do is to set the frequency sweep. Uh, click on analyzes, right click on analyzes, add solution setup. Uh, we're going to compute everything, uh, admittance, impedance, CG, RL, just hit OK. Expand this and right click on setup 1 and um, click on add frequency sweep. So what we are going to do, uh, I'm going to delete this. Uh, let me expand this. Uh, let me delete the last one. Let's solve at 0 and from 1 to, I don't know, maybe 1 megahertz uh, with uh, 3 samples. So you see the frequencies that we are going to solve. Uh, you can do, uh, you know, uh, any frequency range, right? Let's do this uh, 10 megahertz, for example. OK, and don't forget to click this, save fields, all frequencies. Uh, OK, go to simulation, validate, all green, uh, analyze all. So 
So after a few seconds, you see uh, that we solved this problem. We're probably going to have this message. And that means that the student version is limited in number of triangles that we can uh, solve. So, you know, it might not be 100% accurate for our L, but, you know, it's going to give you some good results for this particular project. So just by evaluating the results, click here, uh, right click on results, create matrix report, rectangular plot. Plot the resistance in your report. So you see that the resistance will increase with frequency. L matrix at trace. So uh, you can close this. You see that the inductance will decrease. Uh, you can click here and uh, go to scaling, uh, log scale if you want to. OK. And um, you can even right click and cre create matrix report, rectangular plot, and uh, characteristic impedance. Click new report. So this is uh, Z0. Uh, you can even, well, for, for this particular case, uh, you can even plot uh, the um, analytical equation. So you can double click in here and you can put the equations. 138 times log 10, outer diameter divided by the inner diameter divided by square root of the dielectric constant. If you click add, uh, you see the, the, the results. The difference here is, that of course we're resolving this. Uh, let me change this to log and view best vertical fit. So the analytical equation marker, X marker, it's giving me 49.79 while, uh, you know, our real simulation will show you 49.92 for uh, 10 megahertz, uh, one megahertz. So we're actually computing uh, characteristic impedance in here. Okay, and now if you want to plot the, you know, and the current density and see the skin effect, uh, let's plot, select both pin and shield with the control button. Right click on field overlays, RL fields, J, JRL. And this is very important. Right click, uh, click here on the last adaptive and select the sweep because we, we want the frequent sweep, right? And click done. So this is for zero hertz. You, you can, click here and see. So this is DC. Uh, so the current is flowing through the pin, the entire cross section. You can right click and animate. And uh, instead of phase, you can select frequency. And here are the frequency points that you're going to solve. Let's just animate from 0 to 1 megahertz. And here you see that, uh, you know, as we increase the frequency, you see the skin effect uh, taking place.